Hello and welcome back to 888 Poker WPT Deep Stacks Malta. I've managed to steal a little bit of Fabrice Soulier's time. A rare sighting now that we see you out in the poker field, but um, I'm guessing because you live in Malta, you could not not come and make an appearance here, right? Exactly, exactly. I played very few. Actually, it's my second tournament of 219. It's a big, the biggest one. I played one 500 here in Malta. Uh -huh. and that's the second one of the year. So it's, uh, I've never played so few in my life. Why is that? Why have you taken a step back? Maybe because I was a little burned out of poker. I was not playing good the last year, year and a half I was playing, maybe a lack of patience and maybe also because we're waiting, we're expecting another child. Well, congratulations! So, yeah, Is this the second to add to your yes, tribe now? Yes, yes. <laughs> Backtracking now, I want to talk a little bit about your history. Okay. You actually started off being a director. You directed something with one of my favorite French actors, yes. Jean Dujeladin, oui, bien sûr, Brice Denis, Cassé. <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. Um, Super nice guy. So, why the transition from directing to poker? Actually, it was more the transition between cinema. I was working in cinema. Cinema was fascinating. I loved it. TV was a little less fascinating, even though I was working with great people, yeah. as Jean, for example, and other people. But it was kind of a routine, and I was playing poker on the side, and I was playing at night poker. Oh, so yeah. I was doing both things bad, actually. So I had yeah. to make a choice, and I made the choice to, to stop for one year. Right after I stopped working as a director, I won my first big tournament and rolled for 18 years. When you first got into poker and had poker as your main source of income, your parents weren't too happy about it. Is that correct? That's true. How do you know all this? <laughs> I know everything. It's true. They were a little scared, yeah, because I was quitting a super nice job. I had a good job and, and they, they couldn't understand my decision. I was lying by omission in the beginning. I was not telling them what I was doing. I was telling them, oh, I'm looking for jobs and I was going to Las Vegas. And But I couldn't tell them the truth right away. It would have been too scary. Before, I was sure I wanted to do that and I could make money out yeah, of it. Yeah, so, Yeah, exactly. So how do they feel now about it? No, now they accepted it. No, 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 now they accepted it, of course. When I used to win something, my dad was super happy and I see glitter in his eyes and it's beautiful. When did you move to Malta and why Malta? A few years ago, Malta was an obvious choice after London for poker. You can play online basically on every website. The weather is beautiful. I mean, they wanted to invest in real estate. The real estate in London was getting crazy at the time. Now I'm thinking about maybe moving back to London with a Brexit sign, yeah. you know? <laughs> if you like stones in Malta, because you have some beautiful stones, so Rabat and Dina and Valletta, of course, and uh, Dingdi Cliffs. Also, yeah. if you like big cliffs, it's beautiful. We're lacking of trees in Malta. So guys, please, if you listen, plant some trees. Plant some trees, Malta. Yeah. We need some green. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. For more information on WPT Deep Stacks Malta, just head to WPT.com and follow our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just sign up at clubwpt.com and get the game.